Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to MC Eternal. It is Modded Monday. There's baby idiot shopping bags around making heaps of noise. I hate them. I really do hate them. Uh, we'll just ignore them for now, guys. We are here at our brand new wither farm and it looks like it's working just splendidly. I don't know what we can do with wither ash. Maybe we should look that up. <laughs> what What are all those there? Typed. What was I typing? Uh, wither ash. Flash potion of decay. Uh, that is not correct. Is it like one word or something? Wither... Okay, I've spelt it incorrectly somehow, haven't I? Wither Ash. No, I haven't. Interesting. I don't know why I couldn't find it then. Wither Ash, right there. Um, okay, so we can make stone slabs. Painting machines. Okay, that's interesting. Curse of Rusting... Okay, so it's pretty much useless by the looks of it. Well, then we may find a use for it later on. Let's make sure we grab this stuff before we leave. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna head home. I just wanted to start the video here. I know another one just started dying. They die quite in there quite frequently, so I would never get away from here otherwise. But let's take this ridiculous path out of here. All the death notices everywhere. This place is terrifying. But really, we need to get out of here. What is that? Iron? No, I don't need that. We've got a bunch of quartz while mining through all here and things like that. I think I've taken most of it home now, so that is good. It is time to get out of here, return to um, our little base, and uh, we need to figure out a way to kill the wither today. We need a wither to get to the beneath, where we need to go in order to get... Uh, Osmium basically so we can start mechanisms. So I think mechanism is going to be really useful for helping us get uh, things that we need But we can't start it without getting Osmium which in this mod pack is only in the beneath dimension Unfortunately, well, wow, there's something something went horribly wrong here guys I'll tell you what it was. I mined some of that green stuff But um, I figured out how to get the green stuff without dying now Can I just is this just yeah, that's just inferior more uh, Is inferior more good? Or is that just the... Or is that just that... Yeah, it's just that, that rubbish. I fell into the lava anyway. Um, I do want this, though. This stuff is useful. We may actually use this today. Well, that's the end of that. Okay, um... Let's, uh... We should get one of those magnetic charm things on us. That would be, uh, cool. It brings all the blocks to you. Uh, that would be useful. Anyway, I need to get some more food. That is my last bit of food. I've got these mineral berries, but they're pretty rubbish, so... Anyway, let's head home. I'm almost there. Okay, guys, so to kill this wither, we're going to need a better weapon than what we have here. I don't think this ender is going to do enough damage. Um, I think we'll be all right with the with the paper shuriken. We might be all right. We'll, we'll have to see. But we're going to need better armor, and we're going to need a better weapon here. So I think let's come up here and grab some ardite. Uh, let's just grab all of it for now and some cobalt. Oh. That's good. We've done a quest as well. That's fantastic. Oh, we've got a lot of cobalt, actually. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a manilium uh, blade for it, and I think I'm going to make bone... Let's get bone. I think I'm going to make a bone hilt thing on it. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So if we just jump under here, this is where our little funny setup is down here for this sort of thing. Uh, we're going to need a tool rod, I believe. Uh, I think I'm going to make that out of bone. Bone tool rod. I think that's all we need for now. What do you actually need to make an... I'm just going to make an ordinary sword. So we need tool rod, sword blade, and a wide guard. All right, do we have a wide guard pattern? I'm sure we do. No, that's cross guard. Wide guard pattern. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to make that out of just yet. Possibly bone as well, or maybe... Yeah, I'm not too sure what, what the best plan is for that. But let's get these two pieces done for a start. Let's head down. There is a bit of manilium actually in the uh, little setup down here. I know this thing is absolutely miles away from where I am, but you know we, we hardly ever need this thing, so I just sort of leave it down here. There's a bit of manilium in there. Is that going to be enough to make this? It does not appear so, so we need to put at least one more of you in, and at least one more of you. We do not have our time on a bottle on us. That is up there. Oh, the pain of how slow this is. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get it. By the time I get back, it's probably not finished. But uh, I have to run up here. I, I, I realize I'm neglecting my villager guys down here. There's just, that mod is too much work. You wouldn't do anything else if you were doing that. I think we'll try and complete the challenges and then ignore them. They they don't, the, the amount of effort you put in does not give you, um, 
does not give you a good output compared to other mods. I know it's a cool mod, like if you were just playing that mod, it would be pretty fun, I think. But because I've got so many challenges and so many different things going on, I don't think I can focus on these guys. They're just, they are too much work indeed. All right, let's uh, come down here, get our time in a bottle. Speed that up a little bit. Like I said, not quite finished. Right, so we've got our die and two more ingots of that. Pour that in, hopefully that's enough. Yeah, it will be enough. There we go. That should give us a saw blade once that, uh, a sword blade once that comes out. Put that in there. Okay, so now we have two parts of it. We have a bone tool rod, we have the sword blade, and I'm just trying to figure out what I should put on the other part. There is so much stuff in here. You could be reading for ages. Teleports mine things directly into your inventory. I think, where's like, yeah, it's down here. The hand guards are down here, so I need to look at this part here. Uh, bonus damage against unarmored targets. I don't know if that's that good. Overall speed when mining and attacking. There's just so much stuff. So much things. Okay, so I need to go back this way. I don't think I'm going to find anything better than maybe paper. I know that doesn't give me much durability. But I could put more stuff on it afterwards to make it stronger. So I don't know. I'm not going to block with it. Poisonous, fractured, your tool damage is increased. Dragon bone, okay, well, looks like we're not getting any of that. Fire, dragon, steel, I don't think we can get that. We can get this, what does this do? Random chance of breaking when it takes damage. Can break unbreakable tools. Why the heck would I want that? Adds three extra modifiers. I see, but that's still not good enough. Why, why on earth would you want that? That is silly. Experience boost. Okay, there's so much stuff here, guys. Let me... Let me finish reading this, but I don't think I can make any of this stuff anyway. I can probably make that. Durability's 15. Okay. So prosperity shards give you thing. It's like paper, but better, right? Surely. And that's 15 durability. I think if we go back to paper, which was all the way down here somewhere. Oh, there it was. It's only 11. So maybe we do that to give us some more, some more stuff that we can put on it. Makes your tool or weapon randomly drop prosperity shards. I don't think I really need those. Oh. Well, I didn't realize it's night time. I'm gonna quickly sleep here, guys. And then I think I'll make the prosperity one. We can always replace the uh, parts in the sword, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Let's try and make it out of this prosperity stuff. I never used it before, so let's give it a go. I think I better get rid of this guy. He doesn't look too good. A vampire. No, yep. We're getting rid of you, for sure. We do not want you. What the heck? Why is that guy around here? 16 health. I mean, we could just kill this guy with the other thing, but, you know. Now you're injured, you idiot, because you just decided to walk towards a vampire. I mean, you know, I don't know what to do with these people. Alright, let's grab these prosperity shards and let's see what this does. And let's put this blade together and see if it's any good. Uh, we need to come here. I don't know how many of these it uses, but there we go. That should be better. Then we come along to here. We should be able to make it now. Let's let's see how much damage this actually is. Ten. Oh, that's still not good, but we can add shards to it. I think... I think, guys, you can add uh, quartz. I don't have a lot of quartz, but uh, I'm going to look through the book again and look at the modifiers now. So let's go all the way to the top here. Go to modifiers. So redstone increases attack speed. I don't think we need any of that. We just need a lot of damage. So uh, we have haste, luck, sharpness. Okay, well, what gives us sharpness? Yeah, it's quartz. Hmm. That's uh, that's interesting. Don't know if we want to do that. Emerald is durability and mining speed. But we can only put one on. Uh, minus stat increase from the diamond. Okay. Fortified, Silk Touch, don't think we need that, Reinforced, Beheading, Smite, Bane of Arthropods, we don't want any of that nonsense. Uh, we could put Blaze Powder on, sets enemies on fire. Okay, that's always, that's always good. Uh, heal when dealing damage. Oh, what do we put on? Necrotic Bone. Uh, necrotic Bone and a Wither Bone. Okay, we might have to look into how to make a Necrotic Bone. That could be pretty cool. Knockback, that's not going to work against the wither, I don't think. Uh, increases the height and area affected. Only affects blocks. Okay. Increases the width of your attack. No blasting. 
Uh, da -da. Mending moss, obviously we know what that does. Floating duration. This is all crazy, guys. Alrighty guys, I really don't want to use my nether quartz, but I think we're going to have to. It takes like 57 or something, I presume, to put this on. I think the tool forge is where we can do this. Put this here, put that there. So that gives us now sharpness 1. Oh, it takes all 64. Okay, how do we get sharper? Is that going to give us sharper? I don't want to, I want to use up as little as possible. I don't know how this is working, so there we go. And another two. That's given us sharper. So let's just put nine in. There we go. And can we get the next level? Sharper. Okay. So this is now doing 12.37 damage. That seems okay. I wonder what putting that bones and stuff on it is. Can we give it more? This gives us 13.5 damage. So every bit you put on it. Alright, let's just do that, guys. We're at 13.55 damage. And how much are these doing? This doesn't really say how much damage it's doing. Uh, 4.57, but you can throw a lot of them at once. Okay, so that's not too bad. I think we could probably get away with this sword. This sword's not going to be too bad. It looks horrendous, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Okay, moving on to the next thing, guys. I'm going to figure out something to do with my armor. I've been talking a lot. Okay, guys, I have made a few decisions. Uh, I think I'm going to make the core out of... Um, we just need to make a few things here. I'm not going to use stone, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. This is just for crafting, uh, for smelting it and uh, pouring it out of the machine down below. Uh, we're going to need that. I kind of want to put something else up there. There we go. Um, okay, don't need that cobblestone anymore. We have everything on us that we need. We might as well make a few things here. But anyways, let's just make the chest piece for right this minute, guys. And then uh, we'll be hopefully somewhat closer to being ready. I've made... Some golden carrots for food. Thanks for the suggestion down in the comments. Actually, I believe it was on Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, go and check that out. Um, I think, yeah, just the golden carrots might be enough for us. Just a, a slightly bit of food. All right, so what have we actually made down here? Oh, we have all those pieces. We just need to make these if we're going to pour them uh, with that. But let's do this for now. What I'm going to do is actually put some iron back in, guys. I think it's six pieces you need for a chest. I don't know, but we'll just put in six for now. Uh, speed that up a little bit. We don't have time to waste, my friends. I didn't speed it up enough. There we go. In there, let's click on the iron. I think that's enough for this. Let's hope so. It obviously takes a lot of iron to make this. Uh, so you need three pieces to make the... Uh... Oh man, that's going to take a while. Uh, you need three pieces. You need a stone plate, and then you need... Um, and and uh, an armor plate and you need an armor trim so you need the actual chest plate core which we've just made so that's got magnetic on it which is cool because now items will uh, come towards us instead of jumping off the edge like they were before now i'm gonna put um on every single piece i think oh we're gonna have to put the steel in aren't we uh so i i don't know why i'm running away because we need to smelt some steel now um i don't know how many pieces it is for these side plates Pick this up uh, for these armor plates, right? So if we place an armor plate in here, we do not want to do that. We want to put in some steel. So I'm going to put in another six just for now. That's going to be very slow again. There we go. Click on the steel. I don't know how much it takes to make these, but I don't think it's that much. Maybe three. It might be three. Um, and then I may make the other part. I haven't decided, guys. There's too, there's too much going on. Um, was I going to make both of them out of steel? There's just so much in here, guys. I keep forgetting what I've decided to do. Um, we have... Oh, we have the dynamite stuff, which I was going to put on the trim. Yeah, possibly the trim. Okay, so I don't think we need to do that in here. Uh, let's make another one of those, so it does take three. We're going to need six. Uh, we're going to need four to make all of this armor, so let's make sure that one, we get this one while we're down here, and then I'm going to use these diamonds here to make the other part. So let's head back up to the top. Let's slingshot our way back up, because we can do things like that. Oh, we missed. That was still faster, though. Still faster. Um, let's go over here. I really need to sort this path out, but, you know, 
Priorities, guys. We need armor. We need armor. Let's hit over here to the Atomic Reconstructor. Toss out some diamonds. That makes these little things here. We're going to get a nice lag spike, and I can't tell you what they are. They're like di di diamantes or something. Di Diamantine. Okay, yeah, close enough. Close enough. Um, and we're going to do that with these trims. I think that's what we wanted to do. Let's just super duper check. Yeah, the trim gives us invigorating, which gives us, I think, half a health per thing that we use. And I think that just takes one. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's come over here to the tool forge. No, we need the armor forge. See, there's no armor in here. I d I'm sure I made one. Surely I made one because I had to. Uh, to get that, to, to make the piece that I made before. There we go, armor station. That'll do just fine. Might as well take it down with the rest of this nonsense. It's kind of annoying bouncing everywhere, isn't it? Occasionally, I wish I wouldn't bounce. Right, there we go. Armor station. Let's make this. We just got to put in the iron piece here. This invigorating uh, armor trim. And we need to put in one of these steels. There we go. It's it's looking horrible. But there you go. All right, now let's see what happens to our armor. We, are, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we place this in, we have gained one. All right, fantastic. So we have actually, that's five armor. This is 7.2, we got um, all sorts of things, and as you can see, like I said, we do have half a heart down here. So we'll get two extra full hearts from this because, um, oh, that gave us a full heart. All right, we might get four hearts from this then, because I'm going to put one of those diamante things on uh, on every single one, and I'm going to make a redstonian one as well, so I, I haven't decided which one we're going to make yet, but... Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's on the trim or not. So let's go back to these items, armor um, materials. Look for that redstonium. There we go. Uh, gives us lightweight on either of these. Okay, I don't want to put it on the plates. I want to put it on the trim probably. Or we can make the core out of one because it's actually got decent defense and durability here. That's actually really good. Is that better than iron? Is that better than iron? That's insane. Uh, I don't know where iron is exactly. There. 12 and 15, no, that's actually better, but um, it's pretty close. It's pretty close indeed, uh, this redstonia. It's 12.35, so I'm going to make one of the cores that, and that will give us um, a bit of move speed as well, so that would be pretty cool. Alrighty, guys, um, it's getting dark again, as per usual, but uh, let's take these out. I want to make all of these, and I want to make... No, we've got enough of those. Uh, let's, should we make our helmet? No, it would make more sense to make our boots the redstone, redstonia one, right? That would make a lot more sense than anything else. Um, then I'm going to go get the iron and pour the rest of these. I'm going to have to use these and some gold to make some casts, but we should be underway, guys. Oh no, this thing's going to put torches everywhere. I just need to sleep. It's always, it's always nighttime, guys. In this, in vanilla, you know, it's, it's a bit crazy. All right, guys, I'll be right back with the rest of my armor. Oh, and I'm just coming down here to do the rest of the steel. I just want to quickly say, let's put six in here, um, that the reason I'm using steel, if we go back into here, we can have a look, find the steel. No, 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 it's got to be here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. It is steel. Okay, the reason we're using it for plates is because it's got a decent toughness here, and also it makes our armor more effective. So should be really, really good. We want some toughness, which is this one over here. So we get a little bit of toughness. I don't exactly know what it does, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Right, let's get this going. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I believe it's time to make myself look ridiculous because, you know, that's what we're going for. Let's put these in here. We're going to put these in here and put these in here. So everything's going to look pretty much the same except for my little booties. I'm going to have some red on them. going to look fantabulous. Um, let's put the leggings in now. Obviously, we need to switch to the leggings. Put the iron in here. Um, I'm just using the iron because it gives us, like, decent stats, you know. Um, and then we want to make a helmet. I think we can come back later and make uh, the helmets and stuff. We can switch out the, the helmet core for something else. But for now, I think this is going to give us a decent amount of armor. So let's see what the armor does down the bottom. We gained half with that helmet uh, of the normal stuff. We gained another toughness. Uh, we gained... We didn't gain anything from the iron leggings. Okay, interesting. And the slime boots for the redstonium boots. 
Uh, we gained one from that as well. Okay, so uh, we now have four and a half toughness as well. And as you can see, we have gained a lot of hearts, which is freaking awesome. We all have almost two health bars now, and I presume the withers in here are very similar. So I'm going to need to get some... Oh, we've actually gone into the third bar of health. Okay, that stuff is awesome, man. That is that is fantastic. Okay, I was going to use the Naga scales, but I think I've retired from that idea. Let's put the steel away. Um, these slime boots are really good, but we're gonna we're not going to use them right now. I'll put them back on later. Uh, we should be a little bit faster now as well because of these boots, but it's only 5% per, per armor piece, so... I mean, maybe that was a waste of time. But I think we can swap them out if we need to anyway. So if we wanted to get full... Maybe we'd swap that out with armor, uh, with iron, or maybe diamond or something, I don't know. But anyways, that is all looking good. We have, we have 22 hearts, guys. Surely we can't lose to this wither. I mean, I mean, surely not, right? I'm hoping it's just a normal vanilla wither, but, um, if it's not, we're gonna be in, we're gonna be in trouble. But I have had an idea, guys. I think I'm gonna summon it in the Twilight Forest here. Oh yeah, I need to remember I can't just go jumping off stuff. Um... I think I'm going to summon it in here. That That is the plan, because if it does start taking over and we can't kill it, we can just get out and go back another day. And the Twilight Forest is pretty safe, apart from the wither I'm going to spawn in it. Right, so I'm going to get a few things more together. Um, what I've put the stuff I want in here. So we've got golden apples, golden carrots. I think I'm going to need to find a cow. Have we seen a cow anywhere? Kind of want a bucket of milk for, like, afterwards. So we can get rid of the withering stuff. Hmm. Maybe we get a... Can we make potions yet? I'm not too sure. Let's see. Uh, we should be able to make a potion. Uh, we should be able to make a brewing station, right? We should... A brew stand pit. The heck does that do, my guy, my friends? All right, we, I'm sure we can make one of these. Yeah, we can. Okay. Cool. So we could get some uh, regeneration potions together. But I've forgotten how you make them, so... Regen potion regeneration two. File a fertile soil. Okay, so this is just to make the thing. So what do we need in order to make an ordinary pollen cluster, glycerin, gas tier? I don't think I have any of those. Um, ghast? No. Ah, uh, okay. We can't make a regeneration potion. That is, that is scary. Very scary. Okay, guys. Well, let's at least make these. I think to make we need to make one more of these. So we just get these like that, and that makes a third one. There we go. Defeat the wither. Quest completed. I haven't killed it yet. Wait, how do you how did I get that? Let's hope it doesn't spawn as a champion. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh man, guys, I'm gonna go save my game and back it up because if this if this destroys this whole world, I'll be very sad. I know I'm gonna summon it there, but if if it summons and we can't go back to the Twilight Forest, we might be we might be stuck. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of um, save scum it a little bit here, guys. I just don't want to lose all of this, and I kind of don't like that you can summon in like a ridiculous monster that just you you just can't kill um, at random. I don't, I don't like that at all. Okay, let me go save. And uh, back this world up, and then then we'll head in there and try and take it on. All right, guys. First things first. I've covered up the portal with cobblestones. So hopefully he doesn't fall through the portal. But I'm gonna go as far away from here as I can. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go into some crazy. Okay, I gotta be careful of this ravine. Maybe we don't go this way. Maybe we go a different way. Do not want to be dealing with that ravine. I'm hoping that I can kill him pretty damn quickly, to be honest. Um, so we should be alright. Right, I got golden apples, I got golden carrots as my food. Um, I think we've got this, we've got our armor, I think we've got everything we need. I should have repaired my pick, but I mean, we're not gonna need that for anything, I don't believe. Okay, I think we can spawn them over here somewhere. We should be just fine, guys. Really should be fine. Right, let's clear out this. Oh, I'm terrified, but at least we've backed up the world now, so we should be just fine, guys. Right, let's let's do this thing. Let's get the rest of this off my hotbar. We don't want anything making myself any more confused than I already am. All right, let's take this. That gives us two extra hearts. And there we go. All right, here we go. Okay, he hasn't spawned in yet, so we can't damage him just yet. 
I'm terrified. Absolutely terrified. What is he doing? Is he about to explode? Here we go. Wait, he's invisible? Oh no, he's gone. He's just gone over there. Okay, the thing about this place is there's lots of animals for him to attack, so he might not actually attack us for ages. I'll take that back. He's coming straight for us. We're doing some decent damage, guys. We're doing some decent damage. Come on, we gotta get him half out. Come here, you freak. Okay, he's killing us with the wither. Okay, well, we're getting him, we're getting him. A few more hits, guys, a few more hits. Oh, we got him. Uh, let's make sure we eat. Heal ourselves up a bit. Let's hopefully not die to the withering. I don't know if that's... No, we still had a whole health bar left. So we got Nether Star, Heart of Gold. Um, we got a seed. We got a withering soul. Drop chance, 35%. Okay. Nice. We got the Nether Star. That's what we needed to get to the beneath. So all that worrying for nothing. He did actually do quite a bit of damage. I mean, kind of got stuck in this trench. But uh, with, our, with our new sword and our, uh, our Prismarine Shuriken... Well, there's a lot of different things on this shuriken, but that is one of them. Okay, hopefully I can have enough on my pickaxe to make a hole big enough to get back out through my portal here. That would be a problem. There we go. Okay, very good. Right, they're broke now, but we can get home. All right, we made it, guys. Let's return home, and we can make this beneath teleporter thing. All right, we are here. That was the portal noises. Still too loud in this game. Still super obnoxious. All right, so beneath... I, I never actually checked if there was other stuff that we needed to make this. Uh, looks like we have it. All right, teleporter to the beneath. All right, we've completed it, guys. That is nice. And we killed the wither, so... You know, nice. that's nice. We got um, a loot here. We got... Uh, okay, well, that's terrible. I didn't want that. I got another torch launcher. And we got a bunch of stuff here. Plowman's lunch sounds good to me. Unclaimed black market container. Ooh, is that something good? This could be interesting. We got ourselves a biome staff. I mean, that sounds pretty damn cool. I don't know what it does, but it sounds like you can change biomes, which would really be awesome. That'd be, that would just be the coolest thing. I could use that in normal Minecraft where my desert is next to my Victorian city. I'd love to change that into planes. That would make my day. Um, okay, well, that's good, guys. We we did some stuff. We did some awesome stuff. And it looks like uh, we killed enough wither skeletons as well. Get some more of these. And we get some blood-infused iron ingots. Okay. Looks like we got everything. No, there's still something else over here. We got the Ardite from before. Anvil backpack. <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty cool. All right, that is everything now. Nice. Well, we completed the wither challenge, guys. We got it. Um, we have the Beneath Teleporter, but um, we might go there. We may not. Um, I'm going to need to go there to get the Osmium, like I said. But um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm pretty happy about that. That is fantastic, my friends. We did it. I really hate these batteries, guys. They really are buggy. This thing has not been working for a while, so I ended up with these. That's very annoying. Very annoying indeed. It was switched on and everything, but uh, yeah, occasionally things get messed up. So I was just going to check that. But basically, guys, uh, next episode, I think we're going to go to the beneath and we're going to take that thing with us so that we don't have to do the digging. Because I think if we go there ourselves and try and survive there, we're just going to get wrecked. So I think all I need to do is get a few bits of Osmium and I'll be happy to come out of there until we're a bit more set up because the beneath is dark guys very dark and it's just full of monsters and yeah we'll, we'll kind of just get wrecked if we go there i think so all i need is the osmium because that can start us off to create all the uh mechanism things so mechanism uh right here all these machines uh a lot the first one you need i think is the chemical infuser no it's not that one um metallurgic infuser and as you see we need osmium, and then we can use the this machine here to create lots of different things. So yeah, that's 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 what we need, basically. So I need to get a bunch of that and uh, bring it home with me. So I think, guys, we will do that at the very beginning of the next episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. We f Wow, we look... 
We look stupid, but we're alive, so that's okay. I don't care how stupid we look. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Hit that like button, guys. It really helps out the channel, like I try and say more often than not. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the very next episode where we hopefully don't have to fight any more withers. Nope, don't want to do that again.